So what is your opinion on do's and don'ts within relationships? Okay. Don't. Let me see. I got to think about this. Don't give your all into a person and y'all only in high school. One. So I feel like you should keep your options open. Don't. Don't expect a lot. Don't expect a perfect relationship. Yes. Do. Do be understanding on both sides of the story. And it's just period. And that, that's nothing else to say. It's period. Period. Yeah. Don't give your all into a relationship and go in a hospital. Don't fall for somebody that does not give out the same energy as you. Do care. You gotta care. You gotta have. Don't be not sure. That's that's my truth. Just sucking in a hole. Um, what else can you do? I don't know what else to do. I know the don'ts. I'm gonna give a lot of don'ts. Don't tell nobody. Just that you won't be what are the do's and don'ts within relationships? I feel like you should always be honest, never lie, put in forth effort through the whole thing. Don't wait till your partner is gone to try to show them that you want to be with them. Just put in forth effort. Don't do halfway. Don't put in like 50 and up put in like 10. Like, do your whole thing, like make the make the relationship like work and like don't be just half doing it stuff. Okay, so what are do's and don'ts in relationships? Okay. Do's and don'ts. Do's Basically what you have to do to be in relationship. Okay, so you have to be loyal. You have to be honest. You have to be Westlake Lions, you have tuned into Word of the Week on Westlake TV. This is a new series that we're starting to expand our vocabularies as Westlake Lions. Course, adjective, indicating a rough texture. The horse's mane was very coarse, as if it had never been washed. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm back again. We got another movie this week. This movie's week is Bad Boys 2. With Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. It's in theaters January 16th. Go check it out.
Miss Kayla Johnson. Um, I'm, I was born in Texas, raised in Atlanta. My name is Mackenzie Simmons. I'm 18 and I'm from Atlanta. We're getting, we're getting ready to graduate. Looking back on the four years you've been at Westlake, is there anything else that you wish you could have done or would have done? Add you. Um, what do I wish I would have did? Looking back on the four years, what do you I wish I would have. I wish I would have not, not. I wish I would have paid more attention to like my grades. And yeah, stuff. I wish I would have like. I was having fun. I wish I would have like, been more serious with my work. Cause uh -huh. I'm looking back now. I'm, yeah, so but, stuff started to get hard, and uh -huh. especially my 11th grade year. Like, I wish I just would have took it like more serious uh -huh. and stuff. I would tell new and upcoming freshmen, like, make sure you have friends, but keep your circle small. Like, don't, don't mess with everybody. Don't just try to fit in and be cool. Like, the people that you think are cool or whatever, don't just mess with them because you think that they're cool. Um, and just be with people that you actually trust. Be with people that's actually real, that will tell you the truth, that will help you like succeed and stuff. Don't just be with people that are just out here just doing the most and trying to like, trying to like just have fun and just do everything for clout. Just be with people that you trust and people that you actually can relate to and that's, you know, trying to get this bag, period. Yeah, it's no point in you trying to fit in, like trying to fit in, because after you graduate, like none those of gonna people matter. are not gonna, gonna matter. matter like, and you're not even gonna be remembering that. You're not even just gonna do remember it. People last name, right? You graduate, just, so. just do it so that you know you don't have no regrets and stuff in mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. Graduation, not nice. yeah, graduation. <laughs> Look at it as like sometimes trying to have a relationship could be like a distraction. And like, I just came it to that realization because I'm like always trying to argue, always trying to be on the phone, trying to go on dates. Of course there's balance and stuff. Like, of course we're like, you know, at the age, like we just want to have relationships and stuff and little, little boyfriend, little girlfriend, little vibe type junk. But I don't think it's worth it because like after all that you could have been like getting some money you could have been in your bag you could have been you know getting some knowledge some education so that you can get in your bag you could have been doing something 
I was productive rather than so focused on like a relationship like so young so that's the realization I came to that I really don't need to be like in like no relationship to be happy um, I just need to my confidence in myself just needs to be on point and that's it like I look like a bum right now but my confidence in myself is still high so that's all that you really need you just need your your own confidence your own self-worth you don't really always need like to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend I mean it's okay of course but that's the realization I came to forgot what I was gonna say um you can't trust everybody I'm gonna say that like you can't trust everybody um also like something I used to do was like I used to like trip over a lot of stuff like I could not control so I learned like you you can't really be upset about something you mm -hmm. can't control like mm -hmm. certain situations are out of your hand you can't do nothing about it you're just gonna have to like goes on Welcome. Gracias.